the Highland Hales tower the skies the skies. But the shadows, the shadows draw the spirits near. After all, <laughs> it never gets sold that that advert that Danny made for us, and it's fantastic. It's, it's fantastic every time, ladies and gentlemen. We are joined tonight by my co-host Drew down the bottom down here. She is hello, Drew. That is. we are also joined tonight by a special guest, and I've been really looking forward to this because I've got a passion for this city. This city is one of the most beautiful cities in the world. And it's Christina and Son for Ghost Squad, you know. So yes, welcome he stole everybody. my name, but that's all right, guys. <laughs> Ghost, Ghost Squad Scotland. Oh, Scotland. It's, it's Scotland and Ghost Squad Scotland, you know. Hello, Eli. Hello, Tina Sis. Hello, visiting. Is that visiting? I'm going to the sticks, guys, because Christopher can't see my comments. I don't. Like I them. don't know. Do you know something that is really annoying me? See, Drew is a member of my channel, Christina, right? And she can't comment on anything. She can't like anything. I've went into YouTube. She isn't blocked. She isn't banned. I asked YouTube. They said, oh, everything's fine. Everything's it's fine. It's the same with right? Christine. Oh, it's the same with me on Sherry's. I had to make a, a, a channel just for Sherry's so I could go on there and chat yeah. when she's on and she knows I'm there. Yeah. I can like her stuff and I can watch it. But I can't, I can even comment yeah. on a video with my regular mm -hmm. channel, but I cannot talk in chat. When so Drew I just had Steve. to make another channel. <laughs> well, when Drew Which speaks, Scottish? when Drew speaks, when Drew speaks in my channel, she leaves a comment. It's fine. It's there. But as soon as, see how you give somebody a look, a love heart, you give your, the people love hearts and stuff like that. And if I hit the love heart, it says unknown error and takes it away. And it's the same with you on my channel, Christopher. See? Yeah. It's, I honestly don't know. I think it's just YouTube being really annoying, you know? But who have we got in the chat here? Iron Firehorse, welcome. Iron uh, Danny, hello, Sherry. hello. Um, hey, Daddy. Daddy. What do you Scottish think I'm Hitler drinking? Welcome. Coffee. Coffee. You can't see Coffee. it because I'm almost done with it. <laughs> <laughs> I think... I would like I would like to see what would happen to the United States of America if it, it ran out of coffee for a year. Oh no! I I just told the spirits. I, I said, look, you know what? I was thinking spirits. I said, if there's no coffee in heaven, I'm not going. <laughs> well, I want you to tell me the truth. Is there <laughs> is there coffee in heaven? And the spirit said, yes, there is. So I said, okay, I'll go. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm not going. <laughs> Eli, you missed your card reading on Uncle Danny's. We thought you were away. That was a really good show. Eli talking about his uh, life after death experience. Yes. That we experienced. I'm fascinated with that. It's maybe need to get you on Eli because it's it's actually a very fascinating thing about how people have died and then come back. And a lot I met, of people understand that maybe don't know Eli. We've knew your life probably about maybe six years through different companies and different streams. And Eli's just been one of those people that was doing interviews the same as us guys. And then Christopher mm -hmm. and I was out to Covington Castle, I do believe it was. And it came through Spirit Talker, Eli, he died. I know. And then we started like just talking about different things to people. And then we found out that Eli had actually died, but he came back. This was yeah. two years ago, but I think um, Eli was really wanting to talk about it with people. So I think it was a clue from the spirits that yeah. Eli is here to tell his story. So when it happened, I was it, it, see when that happened, I was like, oh no, out. something's happened to Eli. I haven't seen him for a while, and I actually turned my phone out and I was going on Twitter, and then so seen a post it, it just put when I thought, oh thank God for that. <laughs> yeah, we did. You know? mm -hmm. So, and then Uncle Danny had said tonight. that his friend Eli had passed. See, maybe that that's what it was. Maybe it was picking up. You, okay. you, this is the thing, spirits. Spirits are. This is the thing with spirits. You don't know what they really mean when they say like names out. They could mean somebody totally different. No. That's the thing. So, Christina, welcome Sam. to the show, and thank you for coming on. 
and honestly, I've been watching some of your videos and they're fantastic. And I, I admire what you're doing with the crossing of the spirits and stuff like that because I just imagine, because obviously you were on the show with Danny the last time, you just tell us a little bit about yourself and how you were telling us about how you were crossing all these spirits. And I mean, that's that must be intense, but could you tell us, could you tell all my subscribers and everybody that's listening to this, all 36 people or whatever, out through the network, um, could you tell us how you got into this and how did it all start for you? So, <laughs> crossing spirits or in general with paranormal? Everything paranormal. Every, okay. So, uh, quite, quite simple. I always thought I had something, but back in the early 80s, um, it, it wasn't, it was frowned upon. And my mother was very big about what the neighbors would think. So, whenever mm -hmm. I would tell her anything, she my God, they're going to put you in the crazy house. Don't say anything to anybody. It's just this. It's just that. It's just, you know, something else. Um, but then when I was 12, we went um, on a road trip. We went from mm. New York to Richmond, Virginia. And during that trip, I was 12. And um, in between coming back from Richmond to New York, somewhere maybe in PA or really close to it, on yeah. the way back from Virginia, we stopped at this place that had like an old farmhouse and a barn. Yeah. And I watched the lady turn butter, and then my mother's like, come on, we're going to the barn. Hey, Luna Rose. And I said, um, no, I can't go in there. I was there before, and I don't like it. And she's like, oh, that's just deja vu. And she tried dragging me into the barn, and I was like, I'm not going. And I stayed outside. Yeah. So she was like, fine. So I stayed outside. Now come to think of it, you know, I should have went inside. But anyway, <laughs> um, I did not go in that barn. Yeah. When we got home from that trip, um, the next day, I started having a dream about this barn and me being in the barn. Mm -hmm. So basically, I, I knew it was me because I was seeing through my eyes. I didn't see myself, but I was just seeing through my eyes. So I knew it was me. And I opened the barn door and I looked straight ahead and there was like a, a post and something was written on the post. So I said, oh, I have right. to go see what that says. So I was going to towards the post and this big loud bang behind me and I would spin around and wake up. So this happened from the age of 12 to around 19. Every night mm -hmm. the same dream. Um, That's quite interesting. So, um, yeah, really, you know, but, and then during that time I got sick. I got, um, no, like I was young, you know, so mm -hmm. 16, I started getting horrible ulcers. I started getting like, um, and I never had this before where like, just like depression and I didn't want to like be in this world and all sorts of crazy stuff um, that you know, I don't know what it was, if it was all connected yeah. to whatever was going on with this dream, because then I was having like these weird, like, so, all right, 12, I started, I had the dreams till I was 19, mm -hmm. 16, I got sick with this ulcer, um, and for a 16-year-old to get an ulcer is like unheard of, I was probably the only one <laughs> ever, <laughs> you know, so I had a really bad ulcer I had to take medicine for, and yeah. then like... I was 18 and I was working at this, um, about 17 maybe, 17, between 17 and 18. And I was working at a, a Greek cafe. And I was on my way to work and I saw this gorgeous blue like sports car with a black, a black stripe. And it was parked next to this building that was like under construction. I'm like, oh, that's a mm -hmm. stupid place to park the car, you know, because of something's going to happen to it. But I was like, what a, it was a beautiful powder blue. So yeah. I, when I left work that day, I didn't go, I didn't go the same way home that I did going to work. So I didn't see it. The next day yeah. when I went to work and I passed it, the car was the same exact color as the barn. And I looked at it mm. and I said, that's <clears throat> strange. Why'd they paint it? Like, it was so odd to me. And right away mm -hmm. I knew, like, I'm like, it's the same color as that 
barn in my dream. It was so weird. But I'm like, why they painted it with such a pretty powder blue? And I'm like looking around the yeah. street because I'm wondering why there's no paint. It's parked in the same spot, which is unheard of for New York, you know, to get the same exact spot after you moved it <laughs> and painted it, you know, in yeah. one day, you know. Um, and I was like, that's so strange. And I went to work. And I decided to pass that car back when I was um, yeah. going home. And when I went to go home, the car was blue, powder blue. And I was like, just stood wow. there looking at it for about an hour saying, what the hell is See? going on? I'm going insane. Oh. Um, so then after that, you know, life got busy. I had my, uh, yeah. <laughs> I had my both kids and I didn't have time to think about any of this stuff, but like, Stuff would happen, but I, I chalk it off to like you know, yeah. uh, scientific stuff, right? So then, um, <laughs> my mother passed away, and oh. uh, well, first my father passed away, but I wasn't like mm. I had just had my daughter. He, I had my daughter on Friday. He passed away. Mm -hmm. I should say he passed away on Sunday. I had my daughter on Friday, so Amen. I didn't like have time to like process all that. I had a brand new newborn. Yeah. And I had my son, when my mother died, my son was five, my daughter was 10. So I decided I wanted to communicate with my mother to find out if she was okay, where she was yes. now, and all this stuff. Um, so I started watching all these um, YouTube things about oh, yeah. how to, you know, connect with spirits and all this stuff, like what mm -hmm. devices to use, because I was going to talk to her. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then, um, and I and I kept that away from my kids, my family. I'm like, it's something I'll do by myself. You know, nobody has to know anything. Yeah. And then, um, my the school called me, and my son. Uh, they said you have to come. Your you have to take your son to the hospital. And I thought something happened, and I go running to the school, and they're like, yeah, he's talking to things. I'm like. Are you talking <laughs> like I'm thinking there's something wrong with him. They're like, no, he needs a mental. He needs to be committed. Like yeah. he's talking to animals that aren't there. And I just looked at the lady. I'm like, are you freaking? I'm just gonna take him to a psychologist, like or a psychiatrist. Yeah. I'm not gonna <laughs> admit him into the hospital. You know. Yeah. Like he's a teenager going through God knows hormones. I don't freaking know. You know, we're not doctors. Either are you. I'm not. You know? So I took him to the psychiatrist, mm. uh, a, a psychologist, a kid psychologist. And he's like, I don't know, there's nothing wrong with him. He went for like two weeks and they're like, he's upset. You and his father don't live together. And, you know, about some other normal kid stuff. There's nothing yeah. wrong with him. I'm like, well, what about this? You know, these animals that he's talking to. He's like, you know, imaginary friends. And even though they think yeah. he's old enough to grow out of it when things are bothering you um, that, you know, that these things might come out again, whatever the psychiatrist yeah. told me. I, and and the kid, but the kid, fine. So the psychiatrist said he was fine, fine. We still sent him there, you know, once a week. But um, mm -hmm. I said, no, the there's something else. It was like nagging at me. And I was like, I don't think the kid has imaginary friends. To him, he he believed there was something wrong with him he believed right. he goes i'm different now you know um crazy am i crazy like yeah. even though the psychiatrist said he was fine he believed that maybe yeah. something was wrong with him so i said no i know what it is and just like out of nowhere i'm like you're talking to animal spirits you have a gift that nobody else has you should be thrilled yeah. you know and, uh, right. you know, even he didn't believe me at the time, you know, but then I took him on an investigation. I took him to the most haunted place in New York, uh, in Long Island at the time where we lived. Yeah. Uh, I gave him a camera and we went. And for the first time ever, I heard disembodied voices like loud and clear with my own ears. And, um, you know, he thought I was crazy then because I'm like Jonathan a woman just spoke to me and he's like yes. oh, you know what's wrong with you Hi. now he had the camera I had a camera I put up my mm -hmm. video right and I didn't think to really edit his but then he was like no I want you to edit mine to do like my perspective on the video and I said okay 
Yeah. He caught rocks being thrown at us. He caught some weird mm. mist coming out of a flower when he touched it. He caught this little creature with antlers walking. And I was like, holy cow. That's interesting. <laughs> what like, what is animals? going on? You know, and, and I showed it to him. And he's like, oh, yeah, that's what I see. Oh, Ma, you were right. It's ghosts. And basically, he was like, fine, after that. I was the one who was all screwed up. I was like, wait. <laughs> wait, what? They walk around? Like, what the hell is going on? Like, uh, and then I was hooked. Yeah. And I just, like, <laughs> full-blown went in paranormal. Like, hello. Um, so that's how, you know, I really, really got started. And then, yeah. um, and then <laughs> basically, how I started crossing people over is um yeah i started watching these people and they had these haunted dolls and these dolls were children's spirits and i was highly yes. upset and i said mm. so i went to my local thrift store and mm -hmm. i looked around at the dolls and i ended up bringing home three that were haunted and they were children <laughs> when they break and um I, was like, brings things home. I want to yeah because that's one of my powers, the superpowers I have, which I didn't know I had, of course. Um, but like I can, if I could touch something, yeah. And if my hand feels a certain kind of way, I could tell you that has an attachment. Well, that's handy. So um, it was very simple for me to bring home every haunted thing in the thrift store because I would just go, wait a little bit, mm. go, wait a little bit. <laughs> okay, this one, you know. And I brought home haunted mirrors, all sorts of stuff. Oh God. All, all of them had, most of them all had children. Some were teenagers. Um, so I said, no. I, I, so I said, no, I, I want to help you. How can, how can we get you to where you have to go? You can't stay in these things. This is ridiculous. Plus, like, especially for children, yeah. leaves them very susceptible, open to, like, um bad spirits coming after them one their father didn't want them to cross the father basically the That's... father and the uncle killed her so oh my god he he didn't want her to cross and he came to my house like it was like so it you just got to get those kids over you can't leave them in dolls right so yeah. i was like okay how can we do this i looked up every medium i'm like this one this one this one and almost all mm -hmm. of them, they were like fake, fake, fake. And yeah, some yeah. of them were like, yeah, okay, but no, you, they, they do it, but not real. Like, like yeah. they're a medium, but they don't do crossings. And I was like, what is going on? Um, so I even asked my sister's friend who's supposedly this, you know, medium that my sister, mm -hmm. my sister thinks she's the best thing since bread and butter, thinks I have a brain tumor, so go figure. But anyway, this <laughs> medium does not want to cross over spirits. Yeah. It, it takes too much energy. Oh, for God's sake. I was like, really? So anyway, so I said, so I said to the spirits, I don't know, can, can I try to learn this? And, um, and they taught me. And so now I cross over spirits because they taught me because I wanted to help the little ones, you know, not cross yeah. over any spirits, but it started. I, I just wanted to help those babies. Yeah. In those I find I find that that story you, you told me at the start about the barn, about the barn, and how and how the so somebody's working in the housework. But, but anyway, what was the that barn? Did you ever find out what that barn was? No, I was twelve. My sister was six. By the time I decided I need to know more about this, both my parents were deceased, mm -hmm. so um, it's really hard to find. Um, a barn in the middle of, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. that yeah. kind of area because all it is is barns. So I don't know which way we took home. I don't know, like you know, um, I've asked the spirits and they said in my last life I was there. I said, well, did something bad happen there? They were like, no. So I think it it was deja vu, like my mother said, because I was there before. It just wasn't in this lifetime. Um, so I guess. I don't know if I wasn't supposed to see what was written there at the time, or I was 
uh, or I was, and I missed <laughs> the chance to see. I don't would, know. I can't get that dream back. back. You know, I've tried to would do different back? things. Um, would I would go, go back. back. Yeah, I would go. Yeah. I would go if I could find it. I would go there. Because it, because I think I think there's maybe something there. I think there's maybe something there. Maybe needs your help. It maybe needs to cross over. It's maybe stuck in that barn. Maybe, but um, like I said, the spirits seem to think it was just like a past life I had that I just happened to get a glimpse of the fact that I was there before. It just wasn't in this lifetime because, of course, I yeah. was twelve. So, and nothing bad happened to me there. It was just a past life that either I lived there or I was there once before or whatever. So I would go back there if I could find it. I wanted to try to get the dream back to see if I could actually stop myself from turning this time yeah. and stay a little longer. But it's not as easy <laughs> as people say it is, okay, to get I know. to get your dream back, you know? So, I know. I know. I mean, I'm intrigued in that. About the spirits that you cross, I mean, have you crossed any real dark energies? I mean, like, as Danny calls them, like twisted souls type of spirits. Have you ever crossed any of them? No, um, I, I've crossed murderers, regular people that yeah. are just, you know, bad people. Yeah. But I, I no dark. Um, that's not a job for me. No. <laughs> they probably are not supposed to cross over, especially with a whole no. bunch of kids, you know, like that's not yeah. what we, no, we not what we do. Um, I only came across one like really, really bad spirit that attacked yeah. me. And um that's when Danny and I really kind of um I don't know, connected, got closer. Like uh yeah. I was in his streams before that, he would be in my streams mm -hmm. or whatever, but we didn't really connect until that part, I went, I I don't know where I went. I, well, I know where I went. I was doing a historical vlog, and actually on the historical vlog, you will hear this guy, disembodied voice, say, hey, you. That's... And I spin around, and I'm like, okay. You know, I was just doing no paranormal. I didn't have any paranormal equipment. I just had my phone mm -hmm. and I was just filming like the oldest block on um, in Bayshore or whatever historical reasons so mm -hmm. I I was like okay whatever from that day every live stream I went into where they turned on the spirit box it said that I was haunted yeah I went to Lou Rock who has like I don't know 20,000 subscribers he had like I don't know a thousand something people in the chat. I didn't even yeah. type. He turned on the spare box. It said Christina and son. I was like, okay, like somebody's trying to tell me something. That's um, that is, um, aye, that's intense. That is intense. Yes. Yeah, I so, mean, I, but when I was going places and they were telling me you're haunted, he wants to grab you. He wants to touch you he's gonna get you like all this this is what my swear box sessions were and i'm like yeah. what is going on um so one day i was watching um i believe my friend benny's live stream i was in her chat and mm -hmm. um all of a sudden i felt something run down my leg and when i wiped my leg it was blood oh my and god and i said um okay but when i looked down it was a scab and I'm like, I don't know, it doesn't look like it was bleeding. I go, that was because it was a lot of blood on my hand. And I'm like, I don't I don't get it, right? Yeah. So then uh I feel it again, like it's on my arm, it's on and I'm just wiping this blood and there's scars, like like not scars, scabs mm -hmm. over it. Like it like and then they were like healing, and I was like, I'm losing my mind, you know. <laughs> I'm doing this stuff too long already, you know. And um, so I typed in the live stream, like, did anybody have this experience ever before? And I just typed it in because I was like, I don't know. I wasn't in a paranormal stream, but there was some paranormal people in there. Just so happened, Tammy um, Burgess Rock Fam was in there. <clears throat> and she said, no. Get me on Twitter. I'm going to get you. I'm calling Danny. And she called Danny. And Danny got on a like a messenger or stream yards with me or something where he could see, you know, 
And he's like, show mm-hmm. me around your house and whatever. So I showed him around. And like, I just, but I couldn't think. I was, I was like, literally like heart palpitations and everything. Yeah. And um, Danny was like, shut up. And he like yelled. And I was like, is he yelling at me? Yeah. I haven't said a word, you know? Mm-hmm. Yelling. The spirit was yelling so loud that I was so confused. Yes. I couldn't block what he was doing. I couldn't fathom what was going on because he was yeah. literally screaming. So Danny then in turn was like, yo, mm-hmm. he goes, no, no wonder you couldn't block it. He's screaming. You couldn't try to meditate if you yeah. wanted to because people were like telling me meditate or put your bubble. I couldn't do anything. This guy was screaming. And um, intense. So, yeah, Danny sent, like, Astro and um, and his brother, whatever. Anyway, they got rid of him. One stayed for a while to watch me, but literally, I was like, my God, like a big weight was lifted. Yeah. But so then ever since then, I was Danny's biggest fan. So, <laughs> a Danny, sorry, Danny's Chris. A, I know Danny's you're, bro, you're, yeah. you're his bro. <laughs> But <laughs> Danny is Danny's a great guy. He has I will admit that. I, you know. But so yeah, so that's that's the only really bad one I came across. I've had other ones that tried to attach to me, got caught in my crystals and all this stuff. They were just yeah. like they were bad, just bad people, like I said, murderers, killers, whatever. And um but it was funny because when I when I first really like so I started getting into all this, but right after my son, um, I said, we have to find some kind of app that works or something. Yeah. I, I couldn't afford it at the time to buy like an NSB7, right? So I said, there, I see people use apps. We must be able to use an app, you know? Mm-hmm. So I said, okay. Um, so I downloaded an app and I tested it out and I'm like, mm-hmm. oh no, I can't stand this or, you know, oh no, nobody's talking, which then, then I was like, or too many people were talking and I was like, no, uh, no, this guy, there's not this many spirits in my house, you know? Yeah. So I, I tried like 20 of them and there was this one had a little static or whatever and this is the SGK one. I use it to this day. Seven mm. years I've been using this app. And I'm like, I'm like, nah, maybe it doesn't work. There's no spirits. Or maybe I really don't have any spirits. Like I was all excited. Mm. Mm. And I, and you could hear it. I wonder if I have that recording still. I open the sliding door. I walk into my house because I was sitting on my deck. I walk into my house. And as soon as I walk into my house, the hey. clearest day I can understand it, the app says, delete it. And I was like, oh, this is the right app, I guess. <laughs> obviously, I have something not happy in my house. That one, why did it want it deleted? Is it because they knew that you were going to start communicating through it? Yeah, and I had literally a murderer in that house. Like, in that house in Long Island, I had... The, the property that was on was a like a slave house so right. that burned down so i had the slave owner his wife his sister-in-law two friends of theirs that died mm-hmm. in the fire that didn't cross over and then yeah. so they were like older time ones and i believe marson was the gentleman's name the slave owner's name i believe he told me to delete it because the one they were from like the 1800s, but the one from the 1980s who murdered all these people and got away with it, yeah, um, was was bad, and they didn't want me yeah. to talk to him. Basically, so I think that's why they told me to delete it because I, you don't want to talk to this guy, you know. <laughs> um, Evie, it's called S G K one. Right. Yeah. Thank you, uh, Danny. Of course, put it in. Yeah, that's, that's good. I, I'm going to try that app. I've heard of that app before. I'm going to try that app. Yeah, I, when Danny's uh, app that he liked wasn't working so well, I'm like, try the one that I use, Danny. It's not bad. It really isn't. It, it doesn't have echo. It's it's nice. 
and he he liked it you know but now his came back and he's like no you know that was my favorite so he's back to using that one but if push comes to shove he knows he has the other one he can use too because he it's it's good yeah. that one's good so if you don't believe well, me you can ask danny it does work that one <laughs> well, see obviously new york city new york city is one of the most famous cities in the world obviously for the empire state building the twin towers and it's also famous for the the immigrants that went there, obviously, too, and then they've got the bridge, and then you've got all that. What would you say in the city, at the centre of the city, was the most haunted location in the city, the main part of the city? My house. I have 20,000 spirits at any given time. My house is the yeah. most haunted place in the damn city. They all stood outside the room. Let me in. Let me in. Yeah. Because where are you going to find more spirits than my house? Nowhere. <laughs> Has took us to a lot of locations around Manhattan. Um, um, last Saturday, they have started. No, you know, Manhattan. you know what's funny? The most haunted places are the places you don't think are haunted. Yeah. Like I went, really? I went to that Victorian place, take a tour. I literally, was not a haunted place. It was just like you know, a historical building. Okay, I'm gonna go in this historical building. Nobody died there. Nobody, you know died in the house or anything. It was mm -hmm. a family house owned by a German guy who came from Germany to come here to make a better name for him and his family. Nothing horrible or anything like that, you know? And uh, Chris in the jar, let me help. <laughs> um, they, um, you know, oh, and I God. went there and I, I picked up four spirits from that place, you know, and I wasn't looking for any yeah. spirits just doing a little historical vlog for you guys. So I went to a tree uh, to yeah. see a weeping willow tree thing, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, and um, I went there, I said, Jonathan, let's go see this old tree, so nice nature, 107 spirits flirting with me, yeah. uh, talking with me, like it was nuts. Like I was like, I didn't expect to see any spirits. I didn't know that house was on there either. They said it was a tree, so I wasn't thinking, you know, the tree was haunted. Um, but I've walked in the street and heard disembodied voices, went back there, sat there, and said, hey, I thought I heard somebody. Did you want to tell me something? And they're like, yeah, and, you know, they'll talk to me. And then I'm like, well, what was this place before? Because right now it's a tennis court. And they're like, oh, it was the green yard oh. slave house, you know, and oh, you're God. like, oh, uh, so, sense. you know, you're not going to think this little tennis court is haunted with tons of people. I got some of my best footage from that <laughs> tennis yeah. court, you know, like it was crazy because it wasn't a tennis court back then, you know. No, no. It was so, um, <laughs> but uh, the most haunted place I've ever been to, I in in the city, Manhattan. Yeah. There's just spirits all over the place. You can't say there's one place more haunted than another. They're all over the place. But in Long Island, where where I used to live, <laughs> um, where I took Jonathan in the beginning to show him that their spirits uh, was the most haunted place. Mm -hmm. That was Edgewood Preserve. And right mm. behind the Edgewood Preserve is Pilgrim State. Um, both of them were psychiatric hospitals yeah. and housed victims. There's 10,000 unmarked graves um, oh my God. in the in the back of Pilgrim State that they use as a little park. Um, I went there with a friend, ended up crossing over, I don't know, thousands and thousands of spirits from that, that burial ground. Um, yeah, but so, um, I can't say one place is more haunted than the other because like literally yeah, it's, there it's, I never realized that it's just wall to wall spirits everywhere. See, see right, see right now is the spirits in your room where you're standing right now. Cause I, I've got a terrible, I, I'm very, I'm, I can't help it by the way, but there's, there's, I don't know if Danny can help me in the chat because he, I can, you can see them and stuff. Sherry's in there as well. Um, well, there's I can tell you, right behind you. Sherry, I have you? a few kids here that didn't cross over yesterday. Um, 
that, you know, want to tell their story. So they'll be talking tonight before I do the crossover, see if they'll cross over. Um, I was trying to do a Sinister Sunday video this morning, which is why I stopped doing my Sinister Sunday series is because every time I would talk about a place, I would get those spirits. If they wanted to cross, yeah. if I talk about them, they come. Yeah. And actually, I think one of these kids um, is telepathic because I've had a headache for two days. So. I've had had a migraine for the last two days, too, and it's, it's it's quite intense. I've actually just tamed something for it, but it's weird. See behind you, Christine, where there's you've got like plants. It's as if there's. I don't know if I, I'm not psychic. Well, I, in, the 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 in the neighbors, in the in the neighbors' yard, there's Addison. Is that you, Addison? Say hi. Addison is the the neighbor's ghost. I call him the neighbor's ghost. He stays basically over there <laughs> between <laughs> my fence and the neighbors. No, and like... he he's waiting for his wife to pass away. Oh, is that? And he he likes to mess with me, and so that's why he won't cross. But he likes to mess with me, and any chance he gets to say on the spirit box or on my app when I'm using it here, he goes, mm -hmm. "Fear me," and it's so funny because now I know it's him, and I'm like. Addison, I'm like, yeah. don't be silly. No, he's not. He's not dangerous or anything. He's right. just being an idiot. He's an older right. gentleman in his seventies, just waiting for his wife so they could go together. It's, it's it's weird because see, maybe about fifteen minutes ago, where you've got there's like a, a there's something in your garden. I don't know what it is. It's got like a red kind of thing. It's not the right. share, it's the, it's the, oh, the red thing the, is the the neighbor's uh, umbrella. I will see, see about maybe about fifteen minutes ago. It was if somebody had like been smoking like outside. It. There was like a slow moving patch of smoke just went right past it, and it was pure white. And I was like, oh. yeah. I, I was just sitting there watching it. And that's probably it Addison because that's the neighbor's yard. There you go, Addison. Can oh oh Tiggs wants to know can you see them too, Chris? <laughs> no, I, I I can I, I can sense them. I don't know if they're there or no, but I can sense that something standing behind you, Christine. See see the plants that's sitting on the table behind you. Yeah. There's like a little girl standing there. I don't know if it's a little girl, but there's somebody standing there. Well, like I said, I have a lot of kids here right now. And I have the neighbor's ghost, so yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, Sarah that's... or Billy, Sarah or Billy's our kids, but it's, it's actually kind of like the guides for the souls that come. Oh, with... yeah. Sarah and, and Billy are my, are my spirit guides. There's I, a PWI I... spiritual, there's a group. See, that must be intense. That when you go to your bed at night, Christina. Did they all come into the room and just stay Because that is why she had to teach some of us to do it, because the poor lady was absolutely scared. <laughs> that is why. No, it, it like was, it was, was, I mean, it's still crazy, bad. but it was really crazy. Like, they were barreling my door, knocking things down, going nuts. Mm -hmm. Because, you sure. know, I, I was like, okay, well, if I teach more people and if, people sit on the phone and give me some energy maybe they'll calm down i don't know they did calm down because they know i guess that i'm not gonna stop crossing them over yeah. i don't know but th it's, it's constant every day that. i just have like the emfs have been giving so me a headache because there's so many of them <laughs> like i thought it would slow down like i've been doing for two months straight now at least four thousand a day Oh once in a blue moon if i just stay See, and don't do anything don't watch youtube just have coffee i might have 10 only i mean that's but if I, if I the second i go to like a live stream where there's spirits mm -hmm. there's people that have spirits at their house i'm screwed yeah i mean that's i mean that that's intense that because there's, there could there probably has billions and billions of dead spirits well, there this earth. Mm -hmm. there i knew because we've went and done this they're probably putting it out even further, and there's probably like buses and trains of spirits pulling up at your house right now. Just, just come, they just come through the screen at you. Be, be ten sitting in that sofa tonight. You know, oh, yeah, like yesterday, I was like, oh, I, we didn't go anywhere. Why do I have you know twelve thousand spirits here? And then I'm like, oh yeah, I went to visit my grandmother at the nursing home, which means wow. I went yeah. to the nursing home, even though I'm there every damn week. I don't know what goes. I go to the nursing home. From the nursing home, I pass by, you know, we walk. 
I pass yeah. by the church, every coffee shop in Queens, the bank, the fruit store, the supermarket. I always pick somebody up at the supermarket. I don't know where the heck, like, I, I don't know why they're hanging out at the supermarket. <laughs> if I it's go similar. nowhere and do nothing, I might, like I said, only have 10. You, and I don't know where those 10 come from either. <laughs> like, <laughs> do you know what happened to me yeah. on, on, on Wednesday? I went to see my auntie in the old folks home in Wednesday. And I was I had to wait in the hall and I was walking past bedrooms, right? And I, I kid you know, there was a bedroom, the door was open, and there was this old man in the bed, right? And he was dying. I didn't know at the time he was dying, right? But it felt weird. It felt like there was like loads of people standing around about him. You know, it felt like the room was packed. But when I went in next door at my auntie and I says to her, I says, What's happening next door? She says, Oh the old man, he's he's that Sam he's He's getting maybe days left. I don't even think he's maybe, I think he's maybe past now. But it was weird. You could feel yeah, as yeah. if there was like there was like maybe 50 or 60 people just sort of standing waiting on him, running about his bed. Yeah. No, it, it's weird. Like, and I had um I ha I had this spirit from when I was young. Any person who had any kind of paranormal thing. Every time I would walk in the street from when I was young, they'd be like, oh, you have somebody with you. Mm -hmm. There I was somebody with me. me now. You know, so I was like, oh. So yeah, I, I figured, well. I figured it was my spirit guide, right? So I said, oh. So finally, you know, I, I, I said, does, does, you know, is, some, is there somebody here, you know? They're like, yeah. I'm like, okay. Is it a girl? And they're like, yeah. I'm like, well, does she want to talk to me? And they're like, they weren't sure how to answer. I'm like, okay. So I'm like, what kind of spirit guide is this? So I kept trying to talk to her. And finally, I'm like, can we fire her? Like, what the heck is wrong with this chick? She doesn't help me with anything. Yeah. And then I, I, I and then I was like, so I kind of like forgot about her because I have, you know, the kids and whatever. And and then like the other day I was talking to someone and I told them, you know, it's not, it's not, I was telling them something about, you know, you should really connect more with your, with your spirits and the, and the spirits that are around you. And, and then it, I, it dawned on me. I'm like, you know, I don't talk to this lady, even know who she is or why she's here or anything. Let yeah. me find out about her. So anyway, so then, um, I realized she's just she was just here just to make sure that I cross over when it's my time because she owed a favor to a family member or whatever. So um, then I asked Danny, I'm like, how can I? I don't I don't want somebody standing over me and waiting for me to die and being miserable. That doesn't work for me. Uh, I said I, I want if if I help everybody else, I have to be able to help this one because she mm -hmm. can't. I don't want her to do this. I want her to go back to heaven and be happy. Like, this is dumb. I, you know? I, <laughs> like, and Danny told me what to do, and, and I did it. And yesterday, after my crossing, then she went to, and now I'm like, oh, you know? <laughs> see, see, it's something that I've not actually asked you, and it's, it's something that I've not asked you, Christine, I've not asked you, actually, or Sherry, or everybody that crosses spirits. So how do you actually do it? What do you actually do do you do like a prayer? Is it like a prayer that you do and then you well, welcome them in? Everybody does something different is what I yeah. learned. I, I could just teach people what I do, but they, A, have to be able to do it. B, have a, a strong connection with their spirits. And their mm -hmm. spirits have to be able to have the connection to the other side. So not everybody could do it because if you don't have a spirit, no. with you who can open that door to door. the other side then you could sit there and think you're crossing over a trillion spirits but they're not going it anywhere doesn't. because you, you don't have the right tools yeah, so, the spirit <laughs> and things to confirm it as well and a lot of the time they'll say goodbye or the light or whatever to, to confirm to you that they are crossing so you have to kind oh, of Oh yeah, but you that. you have Billy, so you know oh, that I'm Billy just... was there purposely to help you cross over spirit. Yeah, so... my cousin Stephen, he helps now as well. Hmm. Yep. It's 
It's quite interesting that because I've got I've got my house guest wherever he is. He's probably Ken and Danny, probably stunt the hand me or something. But anyway, he's he's I think he's already crossed, but he comes back. Do you oh, ever yeah, get they... the spirits that you crossed that come back to say thank you and stuff like that? Well, I've had I've had a girl who I crossed over who came back to help one of my, my friends. Mm -hmm. with something um but she hasn't seen her in a while so i'm assuming she went back then yeah. but they'll come back and and if they really like it um once they cross over and this i learned from danny so once they cross over mm -hmm. they could leave a tether here but once they cross over they can come and go freely and not have to worry about bad spirits and all you know being locked somewhere because they can go back yeah. So it's 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 safer and like so See, they can come back. They can even say like, okay, I'm crossed over, but I want to go back and haunt my house. And they could go back and haunt their house. They don't See, have to go back up there if they don't want to. Yeah. See, I find that intriguing. It's like it's like spirits are like. Say for instance, I dropped down dead. You know, See, I didn't care anything about the paranormal. I was in my house. I dropped down that dead, and I'd be basically stuck in this house. Right until I until I found that someone you knew that would help me cross. But what I what, how is how does that work? Because that's really interesting. That is like obviously when you die and you don't go into the light, you're stuck here, right? You're stuck yeah. here, and obviously like demons and demonic entities and that can manipulate you and use you for energy and stuff like that. But once you cross and you come back, you must become stronger. You must change. You must become a different type of being. Not that you're a different type of being. It's that you're tethered now to also heaven. And because right. of that, you're safer. It's like your protection net, I guess yeah. you call it. You know, so not so much that you're different. And I mean, the ones that are stuck, that are stuck mm -hmm. on a land is, is for a reason. Like either yes. a somebody summoned them to that land and that's why they're yeah. stuck there, um, or you know there could be tons of reasons someone stuck them to that land because they were so bad they didn't want them to move anywhere else see that, you know so it could see, be tons of things you know. Have but you if ever they're crossed, they're not stuck. They just see. Have you, have you ever seen, have you ever came across that where somebody's maybe into the kind of darker side of the like, like paranormal stuff like that and they've deliberately conjured someone and they kind of get out well funny enough I, I believe my whole family there's something um, paranormal with them I don't believe that they all understood what it is mm -hmm. my aunt's been talking to spirits since she was young she thought they were people but Finally, her grandmother's like, stop talking to that person. There's nobody there, you know? And my aunt was like, oh, I can't talk to you, you know? And they're like, oh, no, you could talk to us in your mind. And she's like, um, okay, it's weird, you know? And she stopped, you know, until she was older. Mm -hmm. um, but she could do it from when she was young. And um, now she has... So you're safer, right, Sherry? So you, so she can do it. My son has something I know because he was talking to animal spirits. Um, my mother, I think, had something, which is why she kept telling me to shush it. And maybe she didn't want me to mm -hmm. do it because, like I said, because back then it wasn't, it was frowned upon, you know? Yeah. And um, so... And then my, um, so my grandmother, and this is where, this is where it all comes to pass. Yeah. My great grandmother definitely, like my 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 mother's mother's mother, <laughs> my great grandmother, had something. So her first daughter, which is my grandmother, who's ninety five now in the home, mm -hmm. really had something. So my ninety five year old grandmother even though she did not know what she had, she basically, and like I said, her grandmother was, uh, her mother was something. So her father wanted to get remarried after the mother died. 
My grandmother is selfish when it comes to money. And she didn't want him to get married because she wanted the money for herself. Yeah. So she went to her mother's grave. She leaned on the grave. She hugs the grave. She starts crying. She says, please, please, you have to do something. You can't let dad get married. Mm -hmm. She said, and because she didn't understand how much of a witch she was, she said the whole grave shook and like the ground shook and everything shook. Yeah. Two days later, her father was dead. Ooh. That's so, interesting. Now, she, my, my grandmother got married a uh, second time around to a real son of a gun. And um, he went to hell. Mm-hmm. But when he died, my grandmother was like, eh, she, then she was alone, basically. Um, like, he died, then... Um, her brother, my uncle, died, and then my mother died. So my grandmother got hit three times in three years. So oh basically, I think what she did was she like summoned him from hell to come. So now my aunt and I've been dealing with this idiot for yeah since she's gone into the home, you know. Yeah. Um, and I my spirits on the spirit box have said, "Oh my God." Go back to hell, like Sarah hates. <laughs> anyway, like they just like you know he had a trickster attached to him. We had to get rid of like yeah, that's it's just like he's a damn disaster waiting to happen because he's a hell spirit should be in hell and now he's here because my stupid grandmother said something that she shouldn't him and have and she back. doesn't know. You know. Yeah, you need to trap him and send him back somehow. I think until she dies. Yeah. We're kind of stuck with him. I think whatever she did is going to die with her. You know, he's not going to yeah. stay around when she dies. See, but... I've, see I've heard of this and I, I, Drew, I don't know if you know or not, Drew, I can't hear you, by the way. I don't know if you're muted or something like that, just in case you go to speak or something. Because <laughs> you're speaking away and we can't hear you. <laughs> um, all right. Um, I've heard of this, uh, obviously I listen to it a coast to coast to M and I had this guy on one day and they were talking about this and maybe you can help, maybe Danny can help, I don't know. But it was like, it was like I don't know if they're demons or they're, they're called soul collectors. Right. Did you ever did you ever get a visit for any of them? Like, basically they're extremely pissed off because you've crushed all their spirits that they've been collecting. No. I did get a visit, though, from... And then he went to go visit. <laughs> it was quite funny, actually. He's he was called a crossroad spirit. Yeah. So the crossroad spirit's job is to go around and find spirits that are not cross, right, and cross them. Mm-hmm. But the, for some reason, the spirits don't feel comfortable crossing with him. They're not exactly nice either, and they're powerful. Sarah actually thought he was he was evil. He's like no, um, and um. So he took over my pendulum, and I'm like, look, talk on the spirit box, because I don't understand you on the pendulum. I'm very used to Sarah, whatever. And he was trying to say something, and then I, I finally, after six hours, I got in touch with Danny. He left his phone at home, and he had a doctor's appointment. I, I thought something happened mm-hmm. to Danny, because basically, at two, after I did a really big crossing, I crossed over everybody in the cemetery, you know, that my mother was at. Um... <laughs> um 2.40 in the morning, I get something barreling through the door, knocked over the protection salt, the holy water, everything was oh off God. the walls, it gave me a heart attack at 2.38 in the morning, right? And, you know, so finally I'm like, okay, but so I thought something happened to somebody. So in the morning I'm texting everybody, are you okay, are you okay? Because mm-hmm. that's what you think, like, why else is all this stuff happening? Um but this crossroad spirits came to see if what what I did with the spirits, like 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 the spirits were here and now all the energy's mm. gone. What I do with them? He didn't know that I I can cross over spirits, so he didn't know what I did with them. So he came yeah. barreling into my house, looking for them, knocking down a lot of the stuff that was like jewelry I had that was at one time mm-hmm. haunted that is not now because I crossed them. And just flipping the hell out. So Danny sent Astro finally when I got in touch with Danny and I and I 
sh I told him, listen to the EVP. What is he saying? Something about the light. Yeah. And he said his name and that he was looking for the light. Like, what the hell happened yeah. to the spirits? Like, he was trying to, you know. Um, and he had to send Astro. And Astro's like, look, she crossed them. They're fine. She crosses them over. You know, and my spirits were hiding. That's why I couldn't get Sarah on the pendulum. He got on the pendulum. I was like, what the hell is going on? Because they don't like them. And, like, he can physically make you cross over even if you don't want to, I guess. Yeah. Which is um, something that your little spirit behind you is trying to say hello. <laughs> you so, had a big glitch over there, so I was wondering if maybe, is that me? you know. Are you talking about me? Are you talking yes, about behind you. me? Yeah. Aye, that's just that's just my, that's just Robert. That's ah. just Robert. It, 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 he's fine. Hi, he's Robert. It, it, <laughs> it, he's he's got a, he's got a fascination with glowing things. Oh, with the glow. So that's why he's I, playing with LEDs, them. I, I, it's fascinating. He's, he's a really really nice house ghost. I wish he could actually do the Hoover for me, but he never does. <laughs> I don't know. I saw <laughs> him just now because. Your green screen, you were perfectly still, and your green screen moved, which meant somebody moved. No, it's Something not a green moved. screen. It's just a background. Oh, it's not it's a green a screen. Star. So then no. he showed himself clear as day. I saw it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's, it's quite interesting because he came from the farm up the back. Yeah. And he used to come here, and he used to sit here before the houses were built about 100 years ago. Mm. Drew, I can't hear you, by the way. Can I, I, no. I'm muted when Liam came in, I forgot. All oh, right. <laughs> we were not ignoring you, were... you. We could not hear you. I'm sorry, Drew. Sorry, sorry guys. <laughs> you were was it not you. Uncle Danny that told you his name or Luna that figured out his name? It was Luna. It was Luna was the first one. Right. Uh, and then I think Danny figured out the name. And... Yeah. Uh, I've, no, I've actually been worried about him because I've not seen him for absolutely ages. I actually thought, get yeah, I mean, I actually thought he'd maybe thought, bugger it and ran away. Get yeah, I mean, I'm a bit annoying at my death. But he, here's an interesting question for you, Christine. What, what do you know about hell? What is hell for the afterlife? Oh. So, this is just what the spirits told me. Don't get upset. This is what. One of it's the telepathic concept, spirits told me. I don't know if it's true or not. You know, I don't, you know, Danny's always like, Phew. you shouldn't no, say little that little. because, you know, maybe somebody will get upset. And I'm like, listen, mm -hmm. I'm just telling you what they told me. I'm just passing along mm -hmm. a message. It's like the telephone game, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. But this is what they told me. <laughs> so basically, there's heaven, there's hell, there's purgatory. Yes. Everybody wants to go to heaven, of course, um, mm -hmm. but, you know, it is what it is sometimes. Mm. But even bad spirits rather cross over and then stay stuck here most of the time. So they're, they're ready to take their comeuppance Judgment. or whatever, yeah. you know, their mm -hmm. judgments. Mm -hmm. But um, from what the spirits told me, so there's, there's God, runs heaven. The devil runs um, hell. <clears throat> and there's like a witch that runs purgatory. And I call her the witch. But some chick runs purgatory. And then there's death. That those right. four spirits were left here by the creator to watch over what was going on. Heaven, hell, mm -hmm. purgatory, and the spirits uh, that were going to be here when the creator left, you know? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so that's how they explained it to me. So death, um, so <clears throat> basically the devil, as we think yeah. of them, now there's demons and all this stuff, but <clears throat> the devil has nothing to do with all that. The actual I'm not even going to call him the devil. I'm going to call him the keeper of hell. Yeah. The keeper of hell is not bad. They're just a spirit that watches over 
what goes on in hell, I guess, to make sure nobody escapes or whatever, you know? Um, so I don't think it's horrific like they say it is. I think right. it's just a place and where bubbling you have lava to... And... Yeah, you have to uh, make up for your sins. So, you know, what that is to you would probably be up to you. Um, so I... But it's not like... It's not like with these crazy demons and monsters and all this. It's not like they say because that's not. Yeah. That's not like I said what it is because who we call the devil is not who runs mm -hmm. hell. The devil is some crazy fallen angel that that happened after all heaven, hell, purgatory was already made. You know, so it's a. Yeah. It's always curious to me, you know. But when she told me and she showed me, it made perfect sense to me. So if it made perfect sense to me, it's something I decided, yeah, I'm going to believe that because that makes sense to me. And that would make, you know, yeah, it, it does make sense to me that, you know, somebody, the creator created us, you know, and people think we are, uh, the creator and God are, are one. I don't know. They showed it to me differently. It could be. I don't know. You mm. can think whatever you like. I, <laughs> God or whoever is not going to care what you think. That's why he gave you, you free will. You know? <laughs> but do, do you think do you think that when you die, right, when you go back, like, say for instance, you get to go to heaven, right, marching in through the big golden gates and stuff like that, right, and they're like, oh, I've made that. Do you think you have to come back do you think there's a set kind of thing? Would you have to come back after saying no? So? Um, actually, the spirits told me it's not up to you, and they oh. don't send everybody back. It's not like reincarnation, like they don't have enough energy and they're just throwing you back into bodies. That's not how it works. Only if they have a specific job for you, are they going to send you back? And you don't get to pick, right? You could say, right. Oh, I want to come back and I want to be this, and they're going to be like go away <laughs> now you can come back as a spirit and do whatever you want on the earth they don't care but reincarnation where you get another body and this that is for when they have something for you to do so basically if you fit the job subscription they need you right. for that but for that right. if you're off you get it seen spirits or you're off you get it crossing spirits they might say to you listen you've been here for a long time now we need you to go back and we need you to help these people yeah, yeah it, so it could be something like that like um but you don't you don't get a choice basically is what they told me you so probably like learn all your lessons you're gonna go there and drew's gonna say i want to be a butterfly and they're gonna say yeah okay drew here you go you know <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry drew you can't be a butterfly be enough for a day. <laughs> I, I, but i suppose i suppose if you come back but I suppose if you come back as a spirit, you can do anything you want and you know anything. You know everything. I mean, you can go anywhere you want. You can go anywhere in the universe that you want. And right. you can do anything you want. Yeah, I mean... Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, uh, it, it almost you don't... Why would you want to be what? reincarnated? Whoop. When just you could gone. just... Like, hey, I'm going to take vacation on the earth and go anywhere you want, see anything you want. You know, like without having to worry about getting fat and eating something, yeah. or, you know, you're not supposed to. You're like a lot is like is, is, about picking things. <laughs> aye. As Danny says, he wants all his four befores. <laughs> right. It, it must be amazing. Obviously, nobody will know what the afterlife looks like until you cross. Mm. Can't I mean? It's, right. But it, it's like Eli in the chat and how he was talking about his near-death experiences. I mean, obviously, you get these near-death experiences so as you come back and you tell people right. what it's like. Well, I believe that, that's because that that's... Hope. I believe that's because that's purgatory. Like, or, yeah. like the waiting room, as Danny called. Like, he was probably in the waiting room. And the waiting room is different. Like, if you're deceased, deceased... And like people I cross over, they know where they have to go because they've been deceased, yeah. some of them from the 1800s. They already know where they're supposed to go. So, There's a message. you know, um, I want to come back as a real 
Good. <laughs> <laughs> okay then um so there's there's in betweens like they most of them they know where they have to go because they've been they've been here since the 1800s they know if they're going yeah. where they're going but See, most the trash, people when they're just crossing over or where they're that in between where he was mm -hmm. where they're not dead but almost you know yeah. um that's something like like different the weighing room the judgment room maybe i don't know they don't know what to yeah. do with you so yeah the spirits don't think like we do so maybe just trying to like even in the visions that they show me it's more like a theatrical play going on in my head and they just use characters that i know so i can understand so it's not exactly it's not shown black and white and there's a lot of um riddles and rhymes that you have to figure out mm -hmm. so i think you know that's also that waiting room maybe that he was in where they're just they were trying to show him something but it all went awry you know so, <laughs> i've always i've always found it interesting because i was using the necrophonic one day and another type of ghost box one day just myself actually i was doing it at the church in the the 12th century church mm -hmm. in my village drew my favorite church and it said I, the, fa the favorite church, and there was like two spirits talking away. And one of them said, One of them said to the other one, She said, Watch what you're saying, remember, you're not allowed to say certain things. Yeah. Do you think there's like a law that, that when when there's cross spirits, they can't tell you certain things, or they'll go somewhere, they'll get even trouble? even the non cross spirits can't tell you no. certain things yeah. because I've asked Sarah certain things, and she's like, No. I'm like yeah. no, no, like no what, and she's like, mm. and then or, as well. or and then I like I'll ask on the pendulum something, and that pendulum will mm -hmm. be straight as a pin, and yes. never ever do I ever pick up a pendulum that's straight as a pin. But yeah, I've heard them say things like that. I know. What happened there? <laughs> Hi. What happened there? Robert, are you playing with the buttons? Robert. It no. just it just it just kicked everybody out. And I was I, we, we were all put under the we I we went first. That what happened there? That was weird. Just as you were telling us about your pendulum. And it just Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Was I not supposed to say that, Robert? The pendulum stays perfectly still. If they can't tell you something and you ask they won't say yes or no it will be straight as a pin yes, and you can even time. try to dangle it like come on and straight as a pin and you're like whoa she can't tell me that, that. you know like, you they'll, tell you. they'll tell you no not telling you things like that they'll say no can't say or shh shh is a good sometimes you but that's that's interesting that because just as you said that it kicked the three years into the other and it's into the section with the stream. I've I've never experienced I've experienced it with the, the UFO stuff, but I've I never don't know, experienced it. And it, your electronics is going crazy. You're jumping like that's why I thought you had a green screen. I'm like, this dude's jumping around like he has a like you're glitching the whole side of your head. Yeah, I'm sure, but I don't know if they could see it on on there, but I see it. Here. Here I'm watching. I'm watching it with my phone, and it looks good. Okay. Says, it looks fine on the phone. List. Drew, can you see what I'm talking about? Well, on Chris's. Yeah. Do you see him shaking like his arm? No. Okay, That's it's only that. me. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna I'm take watching. a screenshot because I swear it's going on. Well, I can't take a screenshot because it won't show it. It's Maybe. absolutely. I'm watching it on my oh, phone Chris. and. The, the only time Chris went out for me was when it glitched there and he went away. That's the only time he's went I'm off. Going, I'm going to That's show interesting you guys. what Lunar says. Lunar says they have a list that they can't tell and if it gets close to what's on the list, Let me they see will it. go silent or they will say we can't tell you. That's what I've experienced, Luna. Oh, I can video Take a this. picture. I take a picture of it and, and send it to me after because I'm watching it on my phone on the left hand yeah. side and is it it's absolutely. Guys? 
Well, actually, as soon as I, I snapped the picture, it's totally still no. now. It always makes everybody a liar. It does it all the time. That's all right, Robert. I'm gonna I'm gonna catch you, Robert. <laughs> <laughs> Christina Robert, she'll catch you. I've got an impersonation that he's laughing in the new and he thinks probably, it's funny. He probably likes the attention. He was literally to... your whole right your whole side where he near the alien was like shaking mm -hmm. and I'm like I could just going on. He stands yeah, well, it's that's absolutely... he's in cold here. It was he cold. was actually the way he stood. I could see your whole like he was moving, and so that made it look yeah. like you were Definitely moving. Not... It was so weird, and I don't know how anybody else couldn't see it. Yes, there you I go, have... Robert. There you go, Robert. Everybody in the chat says hello to you. Would you like to say anything to them? Here's your chance. Then Luna saying hello. She figured your name out, Robert. Yeah, I mean, you can say, you can speak if you want. Hi, Robert. Oh, yes, speak into the microphone. See, I think he's been all shy now. Yeah. He's like, oh, no, the spotlight's on me. <laughs> he's, he's, he's the, he is, I will he's say this, he's a very considerate... <laughs> He is, a very, he is a very considerate spirit because see when when I when I was really ill with, with the bug that was going about, uh -huh. I'm ninety nine percent sure there was somebody sitting at the bottom of my bed looking after me. It was probably oh. bringing Aye. healing energy. Yeah. Aye. He was probably going away and coming back with healing energy mm -hmm. for you. Mm -hmm. It's it's weird because he's 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 got a fascination. What I can't mind too tell oh, me there was a. Uh, Oh, who's that? Evie. Hey, who's Evie. That? Um, there was actually, we were interviewing a psychic one night in Bald and Bonkers, and she's been on like CNBC and all that kind of stuff, and she's American, and she was saying, I see a man standing behind you. <laughs> this is behind the scenes. Nah. And I'm like, you're kidding me. And he's, his name's Robert. Yes, his name's Robert. <laughs> I'm really bothered. And then she went, he was killed in a fire, in a farm. And there's a farm behind me, and there is a bit, there is graves up there. And seemingly he's paranoid that the house burns down because he thinks that that's going to set the house on fire. Probably the one here. Oh, it does yeah. look quite yeah. bright and fire. It's it's it, it, that you couldn't have timed that. You could not have timed that to kick us all off. No. That that just as you went, the pendulum was straight, and then it just all disappeared. And I was like. Well, you like, disappeared. Drew and I were still talking, and then we disappeared. Then I'm like, oh, my God, we're all in the Matrix. <laughs> <laughs> See? It, it just shows you, I think, obviously, they like to have a funny side to them. Of course. Yeah, I mean. But don't Uncle be there. Danny said, I love you. Uncle Danny said, they said. There you go. was haunted. I've been here 700 years, and I have never seen a ghost. <laughs> They said my house was haunted. Seven hundred years, and I have never seen a ghost. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm it's... gonna send it to you because you're glitching again. I'm glad. I'm, I'm not glitching. It's weird. Oh, it's God, it's weird me. I'm gonna send it's... it to you right now, and you're gonna see. And you could even That's... show it, I guess, to the to the to the chat because you are glitching. That's weird. That, That's really. why I'm like, you're either in the Matrix or Robert's standing there or it's a Take green screen and you're lying to me. <laughs> it's still not a green screen, honestly. It's not a green screen. There you go. That's... I sent it to you on Messenger. Send me it as well. I want to have an answer. Let's have a look. To show it on here, screen share it on here. I've no go to uh, Facebook set up through this, so I'll need to put it on YouTube oh, after. Right. But let's just... Uh, let's... Yeah, I'm just waiting for it coming through. All right, 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 here we go. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's have a wee look at this. You see how your right side is... I see what you mean. It's going nuts. I see it flicking. Oh, I, yeah. I didn't see that. 
And I don't know why I'm like, why am I the only one seeing this when it, I don't understand? I don't understand why you can't see it. Yeah. I can and understand maybe the chat because maybe it's a StreamYard thing, but I'm like, no. Yeah, that's weird, doesn't Because then you should be able to see it. I couldn't see it. It was just fine to me. Look, look at my corner. Look at the corner where my chair is. I sent this to Drew. Yeah, it's going crazy. This are nice as well, what she sent me, guys. I definitely didn't see that. That is very... Thank you, Robert, strange. for showing yourself. It means a lot. Yes, thank, thank, thank you, my dear fellow. That's... Mm -hmm. Do you know... I've had, a, I've had a migraine for about two days now, but tonight it's been really, really, really bad. Well, tonight there's a lot of EMFs. You got Drew, you got me, you got you. <laughs> I've got Robert, he's going to visit me in the night. <laughs> Probably just to look after you. Robert, you can come visit me. I you can snore in Christmas, you've you've never been to America, wouldn't you, when you go? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have tiramisu later, so you're welcome to come get some, and then you can go back. Do you well, know it's then, getting oh. absolutely freezing where I'm sitting? <laughs> Well, you stopped freezing. glitching now, so he might have moved away a little. See, because um, but... you recognized he was there. See, that's crazy, that. that's See, that's why I think he's he's a cross spirit and he can come back anytime he wants. And I think he's maybe just looking something. I'm going to go and visit them. Just to... Yeah. Yeah, I think that's what he does. Who's everybody in the chat? Yeah, but I, Luna, the ones in the chat. So I'm just have reading you any the chat. questions for Christina, guys? Yes. Any questions, guys, before we end the show? We've got a, we've got some minutes left before we end. If you would oh, like thank to you. ask some T questions. Tina said she saw it. Maybe only I don't know why Tina and I are the only ones seeing this mm. craziness, but I'm still watching it and I can't see it. How can you see it, Tina? <laughs> oh. See that's, that's 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 see I've got a terrible thing. I think somebody's standing behind Drew in the stairs. Oh, Ooh. probably. I'm doing a crossing tonight, so there'll be spirits everywhere. There's a, there's a, there's a bus pulled, 15 buses pulled up outside your house, and all the spirits are piling off it as respect. I keep having to look at the window, because I do believe they're outside. Timber won't let right. them in for the last day, come in. That's, is there, is there any, any questions in the chat, guys? Jacqueline Evan, oh, we've yeah, got yeah, Luna, I that's the energy around you, Chris, at the moment. Have a good weekend, Evie. I have I a good it. weekend, Evie. Take care. I'll just, I'll just share your link in the chat with my Luna, team, please. It's, saying it's the energy around you at the moment, Chris. See, you've got gifts that you're not using, so you're going to have energies around I you. I have got, I've got the gifts on the other side of things too that I do with bulb and bonkers, and that's been annoying me lately. That's been, it's you been have to get that energy one. out, yeah. See, because you've got those abilities and you can't use it, well, you can use I, it. You need well, to I can use everyone. You need to push it's, it out. And it, it's, I, when I look at, I'm telling you, Phoenix sister, when I look at it through my phone, I can't see it. I can only see it through sitting looking straight at him, not at a second device. So I'm surprised you see it. Drew can't see it at all looking at him right now. Well, he's actually, I can't see Chris moving at all. I'll show you. And I'll dare we dance with you. <laughs> <laughs> We're all recording, Christopher. Ah, yeah, yeah, we should record your dancing. Come on, Robert. If you want to show yourself one more time before the end of the show. Come on, when you go. Go and visit oh, Christina. Yeah. Go and visit Christina. Should, she's got a nice house and she's got loads to go. She'll take you out for the dinner. <laughs> yes. Now now it's crazy. Now your arm's like stuck up in the air. It's, it's insane. Really? See, I'll send you... you Going, I'll put it in the coven group. Is he not moving worth? He's not even moving in mind. You should make it into a video and post it on your channels. Yeah, <laughs> I did. You did, Drew. You post it on your channel, and uh, that'll give you some watch time and stuff like that. That's 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 crazy. That isn't it? Sending it to the ladies in the group that he's not moving for me. There you go, Luna, the clips yeah, I don't understand. Space, I'm going to show you yeah. this one, too. This one's crazy with the arm hanging in the air. See, that's weird. It's, we we oh, actually... I like you, Christina. He's trying oh. to impress you, sis. Oh, that's, that is. 
he's, he's eyeing you up, Danny. You've got some competition. Another one wants to tell you to take your shirt off, probably. <laughs> Christina gets rid of spirits, guys. <laughs> She does. Yes, is that is is that what Robert's trying to tell me? Uh, uh, I don't know, he's went all quiet. Well, there's another right, okay, that's another one. Christina sent. Okay, and then I, oh, I did not see that. What's I did not see his arm clutch like that. Really? No. Come on. His arm did not move like that in my screen. Oh my god. <laughs> it's as if he's doing this with his arm, guys. Did any of you see him do that? I didn't. Eh? Look. I did not see that. <laughs> I look like I'm doing something that I look like I'm doing something that I shouldn't be. Well, well, you said you you wanted to dance with them, and they kept your arms dancing with them. There you go. I don't know. It's that. so strange. That is so weird. That's exactly what they're doing. Well done, spirits. That was He looks like Ma Max Headroom. You guys remember that? <laughs> yeah, remember that. <laughs> We're giving that away is... some guys. That is crazy, by the way. Drew, put that in here. Make a wee video. Oh, well, in, we'll um, wee yeah, with both of them. Make a wee video yeah, with both of them. <laughs> yeah. And I'll even That's... show you that it wasn't moving for me. No, yeah, you should video him right now to show he's not moving for you. <laughs> oh, well, I already crazy. got a little clip that I did take, but I'll take another one just to prove. Oh yeah, that's strange because I own my I own my phone. Because he's phone moving phone. again now. So if you take a video now and he's not moving, tell tell All me. Right. Okay. Because his right arm is shaking again. I mean, no, his arm is shaking again. Not moving whatsoever. It's insane. It's, and it is still. I'll show you. I'll leave the In fact, I can replay it. Make it Drew, go to Drew's uh, channel and she'll make it into a wee um, video, guys. Yeah. And she'll play it for you after. I'm sure he's right now that he's not there still holding. Because he's moving again. <laughs> like, I don't know. I should just set up a second camera so you guys could see. Right, let me see if he can see that. Right, look, he's not moving for me. Ah, it's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> That's weird, that. that Keep an eye weird. out for the short, guys. I'll put them in here well, short. Something. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why. I'm the only one, and Tina, maybe oh. you could see this. <laughs> Tina and I are the only up. one. What's that, Jason Bones? What's that, Danny? What's that you're saying there, Danny? Lou, it's called. It's called transposing, transposing guys. Ooh, mm. there's even a word for it. Mm. He's probably well. I know he's not talking technical because he doesn't know about technical babble. So he yeah. must be talking about something <laughs> paranormal. <laughs> Are you talking about something paranormal? It's called transposing, guys. I didn't know that, Uncle Danny. You've learned us another thing today. That's very, very interesting. So, well, Kristen, Bruno says, I feel like Robert is making his energy bounce and look like Chris is moving. So it's really Robert that's bouncing his yeah. energy around Chris. Well, that, well, that's what I'm saying. He's moving yeah. in front of you, which looks like you're moving, and I can't understand right. why nobody else is seeing it because it really right. shows. Right. Yeah, it's that's not technical that. crap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's the first time I've ever seen that. That's <laughs> Honestly, it's amazing, and you should take wee snippets off of this video and stuff and make a, what you call it? Well. A wee Are video. So, Christina, where can people find you? I've already shared your link in the chat through all the network and through different locations. Where can we find you? Plug time. Oh, can I please tell me about Christina's series. That is, I've got to check out our series on a Sunday, guys. It's like a cartoon, but it's it's like you tell me, isn't it? Is it Saturday? It's great, guys. Saturday is the. Uh... Saving the World Saturdays. It's a cartoon right. about all the visions that I had about the spiritual battle. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So that's really cool. Sunday is Sinister Sundays where I go. I don't go. <laughs> I investigate places that I'm never going to get to go because they're too far. Yeah. And I don't fly. 
So I investigate them through like stories and online information and get people's pictures and stuff like that. And I tell you the, the, his, the haunted history of the place. And yeah. then I do a little spirit box session to ask my spirits if it's haunted. Mm-hmm. And they'll tell me, give me mustard, take off your shirt, and we won't learn <laughs> anything from them about the place. But <laughs> it's you exciting nonetheless, it? you know. And then, <laughs> right, Robert? Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> and then, um, <laughs> and then you know, but every day I put a video, guys. Every yeah. day. If you did That's not good. see the video... I do crafting Monday and Tuesday. Wednesday is a historical day. Thursday and Friday, I put out um, the crossings, um, the audio from the crossings, because I think it's so interesting. During the week, I put up shorts about strange and weird news or just something cool that I saw that I thought you guys should see. Um, So I'm on YouTube every day. You can find me somewhere. (laughs) Wednesday, I'm live with Danny. Saturday, I'm live somewhere. So, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. I would like to thank you, Christina, for coming on the show and telling us all about your channel and stuff and bringing the spirits round about me. I'll be lying in my bed tonight. I'll be like, that Phil and Polter guy stuff and I'll be floating in about my room and stuff like that. I'll be like, I'm like, you know what, stay right here. I'll be chucking ghosts out the doors, like, go and, go and see Drew. She's just in the room for me. Just, just, just go and well, see I, Drew. I, She's I right. told him I have tiramisu, so when I do my crossover, he, Robert's going to come visit me, right? Can we can we drag Robert over here to, from some, some tiramisu later? Okay, Robert. Sarah well, says you're coming. Sarah says you're coming to have tiramisu with us. <laughs> so, thank you very much for coming and everybody in the chat thank you for coming and thank you for the new members too please check out our channel give her a big subscribe please and robert if you're here why don't you go for a couple of weeks to new york you know you might like to <laughs> take in the sights you know the big apple and uh, go to the maybe doing the, the what do you call it uh, broadway take in a play i don't know oh but, yeah <laughs> you know i or if you don't want to go there just all the spirits that's run about just go and see Drew. Oh, Robert, he doesn't do a thing wrong and he's getting evicted. <laughs> he's, doing it, he's not but getting evicted. <laughs> he's very good. So everybody, I would like to say thank you for watching. Have a fantastic weekend. Remember, check out the channels and watch the shows. Catch you later, dudes. Bye. <laughs> thank you for joining us on this exciting adventure with Ghost Squad Scotland. Our team of experienced ghost hunters use the latest technology to explore the paranormal and uncover the truth about the unknown. Don't forget that we're affiliated with Spirit Shack, the UK's premier ghost hunting equipment store, so you can trust our equipment to be top-notch. Plus, we have exclusive Ghost Squad Scotland merch available on our Zazzle store, so you can show your support for the team in style. And if you can't get enough of our ghost hunting adventures, be sure to tune into the Bald and Bonkers TV network to catch our show in action. Content creators can even have their own content syndicated on the network or create their own custom online TV channel by visiting baldandbonkers.net. Thank you for your support. And remember to always keep an open mind as we continue to explore the mysteries of the paranormal with Ghost Squad Scotland.